Hey guys, it's Paul. Next stage, I want to put a secure certificate on this, um, on the Happy Me forum. So that up in the corner it says secure. You don't want people coming to your site and logging in. And then if they're in the public somewhere, if they're on a public um, Wi-Fi, it will say this website is not secure. Also, um, it's proven that Google will rank your site higher if it's got a secure HTTPS uh, domain. So it's quite easy to do. I'm going to talk you through it. There's a really good, um, there's a really good explanation of it on this discourse page and how to do it. So I'm just going to follow it through and just show you how easy it is. So I'm going to go to my discourse and log in. Sorry, I'm going to go to my droplet and log in. So if you're following on from the, um, I don't know why it always asks for these settings. I don't know if it's because I haven't set it up properly or what, but it always asks for those settings. So I just jump past them. And when it opens, I'm going to go here, CD forward slash var forward slash discourse. When it comes up. Right, so I'm going to go uh, CD forward slash var forward slash discourse and I've done it a few times but I am you know I'm not an expert I'm just showing you how I did it on my other two um, on my other two forums so so then you're gonna go to this nano containers app YML it's gonna open the um, containers app YML it must be some sort of config file it's gonna say here now, if you are already web stocked as well because you host on website via port 80 on the same device stop, you should be using a let's encrypt client on the host system. The validation will fail as the client used is unable to bind. Okay, whatever that means. Right, so what what you'll find is for let's encrypt to add this SSL template YML, this let's encrypt SSL template, you have to uncomment these, right? So it's always funky so i'm going to get rid of that and get rid of that which which has done that part then where it says expose 80 comma 443 so that's already done nothing to change there so it's basically saying port 443 will be https then down to where it says emv uh let's encrypt account so i'm looking for let's encrypt account here it is. I'm gonna uncomment that. So the comment basically makes the um, makes the the programming ignore the line. So when you take away the comment, it will be then um, used or seen. It won't be ignored. So I'm gonna put in my password, paulnicholson.com, and then I'm gonna save it. Yes, I want to save it. Let's save it in the same file name, and that is it edited, right? Now I'm going to go back here and put launch. Ah. Uh, oh. I don't exactly know what my container name is. Don't launch. Launcher. Um, rebuild. I might put app YML there. I don't know if that's the. Okay, so I was I was close. It's launch. It's uh, dot uh, dot forward slash launcher rebuild and then app, and that will shut down my discourse. It will uh, run the checks and then it will take two or three minutes to load to um, launch again. So I'll pause you while it's happening and I'll jump in when we're finished. Right, it's all done, so it's all reset again. So now I'm pretty sure if I reset now, I get the HTTPS. It's gonna say probably um, because the the old ah, da, 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 the logos here, the uploads are are not secure, so. If I reset these, reset and reset, and then go to, 
so you don't get the green padlock. So there's obviously something that you need to change. So if I go, why no green? Um, it's just why no green padlock.com, I think. Why no green padlock.com. Put in uh, HTTPS happy-me.com it's going to tell me that there's something on that page that I need to edit and change because it's still looking at a HTTP file uh, no it's not that so it, it will start uh, working in a while All right, so so why no green padlock says it's happy? What I actually did was I logged in. So I, w I was logged out and it wasn't showing secure. All I did was literally I logged in. Uh, let me log in. And once I logged in, it went secure and the green padlock showed up. So maybe that that's the last step. As I say, sorry about that. I've only I've got three forums. I've only done this twice before. This is the third time, uh, and by the time I do it again, I'll probably have forgotten again. But I hope that that helps. I'll share I'll share the information on how to um, on this this the, I'll share the link to this page, which gives you all the information you need. And you can see now I've got a secure HTTPS Happy Me website where people are going to be able to put their email addresses in, log in wherever they are I know they're safe I know they're safe uh, and it's you know it's something you're gonna need to do on your your forum any questions as always leave them below or, or come to my forum and come to the discourse group so if you come down you'll see um, creating your own discourse forum and I will put in this video and other videos as we go forward in there so come and see me in, uh, at my website, paulnicholson.com. Hope that helped. See you soon. Thanks for watching.